unite and work together so that this country can be repositioned on the path of unity, growth, and prosperity. <laughs> Mr. President, sir, today is one of the happiest days in my life. As I said a few moments ago, up there, up there, <coughs> after your presidency, we had had three presidents in this country. The only president you have trained is myself. <laughs> and I said I'm going to commit my presidency, if I become one, to the continuation of your own presidency and legacy. I thank you very much indeed for this opportunity, Mr. President. May God bless you. May God give you long life, a healthy long life, so that you can see what you have bequeathed to this country. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Let me say it openly, that we have reviewed what went wrong and as you have said up there my former vice president and as I said president to be has shown remorse has offered apologies has ask for forgiveness and I said in the circumstances we are in forgiveness is of God if I as a human being on daily basis ask for forgiveness of God whatever might have been might have don't have my, might have been done to me inadvertently or advertently, I should forgive. And in any case, I have said several times that between me and you, there's nothing personal. I believe that you and I must work together to correct them. Obviously, I have nothing but to forgive and sincerely advise you to learn from the past and do what is right and it will be well with you. From what I personally know of you, you have capacity to perform better than the incumbent. You surely understand the economy better. You have business experience which can make your administration business friendly and boost the economy and provide jobs for our youth. You have better outreach nationally and internationally, and that can translate to better management of foreign affairs. You are more accessible and less inflexible, and more open to all parts of the country in many ways. And when you become Nigeria president, which, inshallah, you will be, Remember what we did together in government. We ran an administration by Nigerians for all Nigerians. We are married and performance count more than blood relationship, friendship, or kith and kin. Although sometimes 
and ground have been lost, as you rightly said, you should endeavor to start from where we stopped and recover some lost ground, if not time. Please uphold truth, integrity, principles, morality, and fight corruption, crimes, and insurgency. The fundamental law of the land, our constitution must be scrupulously defended. I make one demand, and one demand on you today. We need you to say before God, a man, that you will always remain irrevocably committed to upholding all the provisions of the Nigerian Constitution. 